Each of the many verses of your song tells of an impossible victory. The notes echo across the cut. You shouldn't believe everything you hear. Hmm. That I know. My song used to echo around Banur. Umnak, the hunter of legendary machines. That's why I'm here. For another. They call it the Claws Beneath. Or they did when I was younger. Its defeat would have given my song a fine end. Oh, yeah. I used to travel between Banur and the Cut without stopping to sleep. But this trip... My bones ache, Huntress. But you... Out hunting Aratak. Leading your own Werak. If half your song is true, you are the only... You want me to hunt for you? Not just for me, no. For an old friend. You want me to hunt in your place? Is that some kind of Banuka custom? Perhaps it should be, but no. We survive and we prevail, until we fail to do either. I confess, this is not easy for me. For any other machine, I would die as I have lived. A Banu hunter, weapon raised. But too many good lives have been lost to the Claws. Throwing my old corpse atop the pile accomplishes nothing. Better to live in a world without the Claws, than to die while it still makes children orphans. Sounds like you've got a reputation. To be Banuk is to push your body to its limits. I found my limits higher than most. Fearsome machines needed killing, and in my youth, I found I had a talent for killing them. Even now, my name carries such weight that when the claws beneath re-emerged, the Werak came to me. Do you still have the same faith in yourself that your Werak seems to have? Perhaps I did. Before I held my bow in shaking hands. Noticed, for the first time, the spots on my knuckles. What a strange thing it is to be old. To stare backward and see such distance. But to stare forward at a looming wall. This machine, the claws beneath. Why travel all the way to the cut just to hunt it? Some songs. They include a refrain. The return of a past moment. It seemed fitting. You've hunted this thing before. Must have been twenty winters past. We were so close to bringing the claws to bay. Closer than anyone else ever got. We? Me. And my friend. He was a chieftain of my Werak then, a skilled hunter. Every few years the Claws would emerge in a new location. I knew of two chieftains he'd sent to their burial pyres. My friend became the third. This hunt... I had hoped to complete it in his honor. This is obviously important to you, Umnok. Are you sure you want someone else to take down this machine? No, I am no longer a match for the claws beneath, if I ever was. If I face it, it will kill me. Of this I have no doubt. The Banu see it brought down. I'll do what I can. I have no doubts here only once every six winters. The whispers I've heard say it now makes its home on the northeast edge of the cut. Hunt well. Right? My pop... Burgund, I mean, told me you might be heading up to see me. Pleasure. Hey, that spear is really something. You've customized her, haven't you? I've made a change or two. You've got an eye for weapons. I wish these Banuk agreed with you. I can't seem to sell scrap to a Glentalk around here. Everyone wants boring old bows and spears. I like the more unusual stuff. And the Banuk can get unusual. 
Like that spear Aratok hauls around? An ice rail. Ooh, or that weapon of Araya's? What I wouldn't give to poke around inside one of those. Feel the lightning on my fingers. Or inside of anything, really. Last commission I had was a month ago. A weapon that spat fire. That didn't go well. I've got a nice rail, just like Aratox. You want to take a look? Uh, are you serious? Y yes, yes, I love that. Okay. Mm. <laughs> Obvious design flaw. So if I replace these, yeah, that should... <sighs> right, so believe it or not, she's operating at, let's be generous, half her potential. What's with the she's? Oh, Pop says all weapons are girls. I don't think he realizes it's a compliment. Uh, well, listen, if we had a Thunderjaw's mandibles to work with, her gears would be well and truly greased. And I know where to find one, if you want to go hunting with me. So, let's say someone you know happened to have a weapon like Araya's. You don't. See for yourself. Of course. Look at the... So the coils generate the spark, but the power source isn't even bolted in. I won't lie, she's beautiful. But there's beautiful and then there's beautiful. What we need is a Stormbird Talon. Lightning flows over them like water off a goose. And I know where one is. Hunt it with me, I'll turn that weapon into your new best friend. And second best. A weapon that spits flame, huh? Like this one? I took this thing off an Osaron bandit. Think you could do anything with it? <laughs> you got my forge fire back? Well, if you took down Olgrid and his goons for this thing, I guess she's yours now. Why don't you finish it for me first? Make it... make her into the weapon she was supposed to be. Thought you'd never ask. I'm gonna need a Bellowback snout. Any Bellowbacks will do. Can you handle it alone? I think I can manage that. This forge fire of yours... What do you need to finish it up? Like I said, a Bellowback snout ought to do it. I'm not picky. You're sure you can fix up this thing? You bet. Probably. Just need that Stormbird Talon. Remind me what we need to fix up this thing? That Thunderjaw's mandibles will do it. So we need parts from a Stormbird and a Thunderjaw? And you know where to find them. That's right. It's gonna take some traveling, though. We can find a Thunderjaw out in the Valley Meet, and a Stormbird Roost near the Free Heat. I'll pack and meet you out there. This'll be fun. Okay. To leave something else behind.
Varja can finish her forge fire now. This is useful. I can't blame you for that.
Varja should be able to fix up the ice rail. Found the part. Ready to fix up that weapon? I am always ready to fix up a weapon. I've got what you asked for. Show me what you had in mind for the forge fire. Finally! Was feeling like I neglected her. And that's a little too close to my family life. She's done, and she's yours. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Thanks for your work on the forge fire. Pleasure. I mean, you couldn't be more of an improvement on her last owner. What a pile of slag he was. Never thought I'd be glad to see the inside of a Thunderjaw's mouth. I sure am. Every machine's a big box of tools. Once they stop trying to kill you, that is. Trust me, Aloy. You won't recognize this ice rail when I'm through. There. Oh, she's perfect. A spear's a spear, right? Poke slash done. Boring. I adjusted the chill water flow, rebalanced here, strapped on a launcher, and now she shoots freezing spikes. Ta-da! You weren't kidding. More beautiful, more powerful. That's my guarantee. You've done good work with this weapon, Varja. Told you I was good. Anyway, I'm glad she's in your hands. We'd better get moving. Looking forward to that Banuke welcome. Never know when I might need these. Thank you. 
this will help.
Got that part you need. Perfect. Already got machine oil on my hands. Here it is. One Stormbird Talon. Let's do it. I haven't had this much fun in ages. Watch and learn, Aloy. Only don't direct at the sparks. <clears throat> okay, but what's a staff? A stick. One thing I like about sticks, you can put them back together however you want. Which you did. This thing looks a whole lot more dangerous. She's better than dangerous. She's a genuine Varja special now. Take good care of her. Thanks, Varja. These three weapons are fine work. Are you kidding? I can't remember when I had this much fun. I should be thanking you. I'm the one walking away with the weapons, aren't I? Seems wrong to charge you for giving me an opportunity to do what I love doing. Don't tell Pop I said that. Here, whenever I tinker with weapons, I go through fistfuls of this stuff. Maybe you'll get some use out of it. Something awe-inspiring about a machine that has survived a long time. 